Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can do a basic mail merge. So this video is a mail merge video for beginners. So first of all, I've got a Word document open on the screen. And what you have to do when you want to do mail merge is you have to merge that document, no matter what type of document that is, a letter, an envelope or labels, you need to merge that with a data source, a list of addresses or products or items. So to do that, there are several ways you can do. First of all, let's go to the mailings tab and have a look. So these first two options that you see there are nothing to do with mail merge. Shouldn't really be on this tab, I don't think, but this is the start of the mail merge process. And they're the options you've got there. So I'm gonna do a letter and that's the one I'm gonna select first of all, letters. So in the next step, it says select recipients. So this is where I need to merge this letter or link this letter to a list of addresses in this case. Now, there are two options there that I'm going to use both of. That one, create a new, create a new list, and this one, use an existing list. The third option there is, is contacts from Outlook, which I'm not going to cover. So the first option is create a new list if you haven't got a list. So that's the one I'm going for. And it's a case of just basically building up your list and filling this in and then saving this as your list, which you can then add to and, uh, and delete from if you wish. Now, the fields that you get by default, if I go into customize columns, these are the custom fields. So if you're in the UK or wherever you are in the world, you might need to change some of these. So I'm going to rename that county because we don't have states in the UK county. And that's just going to be postcode because we don't have zip codes. Now, whether you keep these or not is up to you. So I'm going to get rid of some of these because I don't really want this information in this little database that I'm going to create. So deleting these off. I don't need the email as well. So whatever you want, um, I've got company name. First name, title, everything else. I don't need two addresses. Let's get rid of that. So you can keep it as tight as you want like that, or you can add extra columns. So that's okay for me. I'll click okay. And then you just start typing your list, press tab to come across. And then you just fill in all this information in as you go. So I'll just add a few records and then we'll come back to this. So I've just added three records there. That'll do for now. So once you've typed your list in, you can click OK. And then it will ask you to save that list. Um, Steve, data, that'll do for now, I think. And it goes into my data sources, but you can put that wherever you want. So I'll save that list. So I've now glued this piece of paper with that list. If I click on Edit Recipient List, you'll see those three records that I just added. And there's the name of the data source. And if you want to edit that to add some more, you have to go back into that and carry on adding other records or editing this. Cancel that. Click OK. Now, to put that information into this document, you've got a few options as well. So address block will allow you to select a pre-formatted, if you like, list of address fields. So I'm going to leave it on the bottom one. Click OK and it drops in like so. Now to see that, you click on this and you get the preview and then you go next, next, there's only three and it shows you all three records. Now the other option is to insert the individual fields themselves one at a time to create this, which I'm gonna do for the, the uh, greeting line. So I've also got a greeting line option pre-formatted, but just to show you that you can do this manually, I'm not going to use this option. I'll come down and I'll go dear space and then I'm going to insert the first name. That's all I need. Then I'm going to type a bit of a letter. How did you like? And now I want to put a field in. This is their address. I'm going to insert the city field and it'll put that in there. And remember, if I take the code off, that's the, that's what it looks like with, if you don't click on preview results. Back to that. When you returned home. 
etc. So that's the letter and what I now need to do is save this document as my main data source document or my main letter so control s I'll call it main data letter and it's gone into documents I'll do save that now to finish the merge you go to this step and you've got a couple of options as well or three options I'm just going to use this top option but I could send it to a printer so we'd print a record a page per record or email I've got no emails in this option so I'm not going to do that one so I'll do this one this is going to go into a separate document you've got an option to filter a record there number of records from two there's only three so it doesn't really matter in this example click OK and then what I've got now so I just zoom down you can see there that I've got a letter per person like so so for each person there is a letter and it's got their name dear dear Steve dear Janet dear Ben and then that whatever the city were was as well so this is like a dead copy I can close this down don't need to save it because I've got this saved now if I close this down and add a new record so let's do that so close control W I do want to save it so I just pressed S now if I open that up again main documents yes it's asking me to connect again so I am going to connect again and I go to mailings and I want to add another person so I go into there I select on this edit and I add a new person new entry and this can be Mr. Clive Jones from book IT he lives they all live next door to each other free red road Brad Ford Yorks etc so you just type in this in and then you'll just update this record in the actual database so that's got to have a number in first so it's six okay yes okay so now I've got four records so when I go through them there it is you need to go through the merge again edit individual records all the records and now you get four and again I don't need to save this don't save it this is the main thing that you save so you could have a marketing mail merge linking into a data source you could have a sales mail merge whatever type of mail merge you want you can just create these these documents link it to a data source and then you just virtually just click in this now this was a, an example where I created a list in Word myself now I want to do a new document so I'll close this down a new document control N I'm going to do the same thing except this time I'm going to select a list that I've already got and it's in an access database so I need to go search for it so it's in examples access and it is company records this one and the table's called address details so there's more more information in this if I go to edit list you can see there's loads of information already in there and click OK go through the same process address block OK this time I'm going to do the greeting line OK enter enter click on preview so you can see it and then I'll just go through these and you can see there's quite a few of these and if I want to go back into edit I can do this sort of thing sort this list filter this list I'll just go and show you these so filter and sort is the same thing really it's the same box so you can do it filter so you could maybe go um, city is equal to leads and then it will just filter for leads there's just three so you're filtering it before you do the merge so if I clicked OK now and then did the merge it would just be those few no more so I'll go back into that and take that filter off and go up to the top none okay they all come back 
okay now I've got all of them 13 then I finish the merge all of them go in there and that's the output close that one down again don't save it now go back into if I open up access and create a new record so at the moment we've got 13 but I'll just add a new person in that database and you can see that it automatically picks it up so I've opened the database I've opened address details there's the 13 record so if I do a 14 a 14th one and call this Mr. John Jones one black street leads L E two two R T that's all I'll do I'll just put I'll put today's date in there actually. So that's now updated, close the database down, close access down, we'll come back into Word actually, I just I will close access down, I'll come back into Word. There's Word. I had to close the Word document down before I did that because it was it was it keeps the access table open and you can't update it. So file call main. Yes. So remember there was 13 records, but now I've added another one, and there it is. John Jones, the 14th record. So what you would do with this is you've connected this two pieces of paper together, if you like, a document with a data source. If the data source changes in numbers, they automatically that's automatically um, reflected in the Word document. And then you carry on the merge, as I showed you before. So that's just a very, very quick basic look at how to do a mail merge by creating it yourself a data source yourself or using a data source that's already created it doesn't have to be an access it could be excel an excel list but you don't need to filter it in excel because you can filter it when you get into word same with access you can filter it in access and send it from access already filtered but you don't need to because you can filter it in word so hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.